Basketball. Love. Los Angeles. Home. Retirement. Peace. And legacy. Wow. <laughs> Kobe Bryant, a legend of basketball, the third highest scorer of all time. Only 41 years of age, died in a helicopter accident alongside his 13 year old daughter and seven other people. Asalaamu As Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Before we begin our respects and condolences go to the family during this trying and testing period. What I've learned is to, to, to always keep going always you know there's been times particularly early in my career where it just feels like this is the end um, but what i've come to find out is that you know no matter what happens the storm eventually ends and when the storm does end you want to make sure that you're ready as expected kobe's death has affected hundreds and thousands of people worldwide with 250 tweets per second talking about his achievements offering their respects and sharing memories from the likes of the ex-president of the United States to even the ex-president of Iran. He has even caused grown men to weep and mourn in public. And what's even more special about this individual is that he has stopped our fast paced rat race whatever you want to call it and you've got people talking about the unpredictability of life and taking the time to appreciate one's family after seeing the relationship Kobe had with his 13 year old daughter. Whilst all this is happening the legendary BBC whilst squandering the taxpayers money can't seem to hire staff that can tell the difference between LeBron and Kobe. His list of achievements is long. An all-star, an NBA champion and an Olympic gold medalist. He was unashamedly competitive. Of course these Muppets had to apologize in the end but just goes to show. As this is going on there's a lot of questions that are plaguing the minds of the people. And to be honest I was actually inspired by this tweet where the guy actually says imagine being told that the helicopter is going to crash. What goes through your mind? What do you say to yourself? And he goes one step forward and he says, imagine as a father, you got your daughter there. And fathers are very protective. Having a child that's come from you <laughs> and you can't do anything to protect that child. I mean, what would their conversation have been? What would he have said to his own daughter to comfort her whilst they were plummeting to their death? I mean it's something that if we think about it's, it's very saddening but I think <laughs> the thought entered my mind imagine if I was in his position plummeting to my death. Boy what would your regrets be? What would you want to do differently? What if you had another chance? Kobe was such a celebrity. He only retired in 2016. He had so many plans. I mean, I think the guy even won an Oscar for something as well. He went into film and he flipping did brilliant there as well. The guy was 41. Death don't care. <laughs> Death doesn't care if you're a celebrity. Death doesn't care if you're a 13 year old child. When is your time to go? It's your time to go. But I'm gonna be honest, even after hearing this, some of us are still duped and I speak to myself before I speak to you. We're still duped into thinking that we're gonna live forever. I mean who's guaranteed us that we're going to live till tomorrow? No one. But here we're thinking, ah it's Kobe. Oh yeah it's somebody in that country. But that's the thing. Today it's him, tomorrow it could be us. And that should really get us thinking about the big questions in life. Like what are we actually doing here? Like what's our purpose? Surely life is more than just merry making, going to work. I mean this guy puts it perfectly. 
So many of us, we wake up every day in fear. We're scared. And we are so frightened to leave the box. We work in a box. We drive to the office in a box. We eat lunch out of a box. We go home and live in a box. We spend five hours every night watching a box. And then we die in a box. And we call it a life. That's literally how we've made our existence. Yeah? Everybody's going to die. But does everybody live? And what does it mean to live? Especially if you're not spending your time focusing on your purpose. What are you doing here? And is there any point wasting time on people that when we pass away, they'd probably spend a week grieving and mourning and then they'll move on. And those people that are watching that are believers, the only thing that we're going to take with us is our deeds. Yeah, that's what we take with us. But there's another continuing investment that's called Sadaqatul Jariya, ongoing Sadaqah. Yeah, ongoing deeds. That could be if you helped build a mosque, that could be if you taught somebody something, or if you helped somebody accept Islam, or you gave somebody life-changing advice, or just general advice that helped them better themselves, teach them, teach somebody Quran, or give in charity that saved someone's life, or feed them or whatever. So, and even other stuff like creating content, could be a podcast, could be, um, making videos that will live on after you pass away or writing books. Some people may say, oh, but Kobe's passed away, but there's other people that are dying every single day. And you're right. That's so true. But I guess what makes celebrities' deaths so talked about, because everybody knows them. They know their name. They know about their lives. They have a connection with them. So when they pass away, it's an interesting time for us to open the doors of dialogue. And I'm going to end with this quote, which is, the goal isn't to live forever, but to create something that will. Let's leave it there, guys. Until next time. I encourage you to always be curious, always seek out things you love, and always work hard once you find it. Assalamu alaikum.